What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we are gonna give you a two year update on probably the best purchase we made since being full time in our RV. So stay tuned. So what we're going to talk about is our mini washer and spin dryer. Um, we bought this just after we moved into our fifth wheel and we have put this thing through two years of heavy, heavy, heavy use. It was a hundred bucks. So we spent a hundred bucks on it. We used it for two years and we don't go to, we haven't been to a laundromat. I mean, all of our, um, all of our washing and drying has been done in, in this unit. So. When it started messing up on us here about a week or so ago, um, it wasn't quite spinning very fast when, it, when the agitator was going back and forth. Uh, wasn't really, we noticed our, um, our clothes weren't looking quite right when they would come out of the washing machine. So um, it, it, finally, it finally gave up on us. But I mean, for a hundred bucks and we got two years of use out of it, can't complain. When we started doing some research, we were gonna get another unit just like this uh, once we started doing some research, we realized that they actually make one that is a little bit larger capacity now that wasn't available two years ago. So it was a little more money. Uh, even this unit has gone up in price since two years ago. This one has a, uh, an eight pound capacity in the washing machine, five pound capacity in the dryer, which gave us a 13 pound total capacity. This one is our new one. So we're getting ready to take this one out of the box. This one is gonna be an 11 pound washing capacity with a six pound capacity in the dryer. It gives you a 17 pound total capacity. So let's get this thing out of the box and see what it looks like compared to our old. As you can see, this thing is not heavy. Uh, it weighs 28 pounds. So it's not cumbersome, not heavy to move around. So you can definitely tell a difference between our, our old one and the new one. But um, you know, it's this one's taller, obviously. Um, Width-wise, this one's a little bit wider. But uh, we're really excited to get this thing inside and start using it. You look down in the tub. I mean, you can see this is a a very large tub. It's got a good agitator there in the bottom. And then on the dryer side, got our drain hoses. Has our little piece that uh, that we push down on top of your clothes when it's time to dry them. So we're gonna go ahead, get this thing up inside, uh, show you where we use it, where we put it uh, in the bathroom, and uh, give you guys kind of a rundown on how this thing operates. All right, so we just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview on how this washer spin dryer actually works because the instructions that come aren't really the best. It's very similar to the other one that we had. There's only one minor difference and we'll go over that also. This is where we store it when it's not being used. So it's sitting right over here so that we still have access to our shower. And it's out of the way, enough to get a shower. And then what we did is we came in and uh, we purchased this bath mat so uh, if you saw our last video we redid our shower floor um, we recoated it with top side coating because it was pretty scuffed up and really worn out looking and a lot of that was due to having the old uh, washer and spin dryer sitting in the shower it would vibrate just a little bit and it kind of wore uh, the bottom of the floor where uh, where the feet on the bottom of the washing machine are kind of just rubbed a little bit and over the period of a couple years it really just kind of wore the bottom of our shower down so we found this um, this bath mat. We actually picked this up at Walmart. It's 20 by 20, uh, and it's a cushion padded bath mat. So um, we actually like it in the bottom of the shower. You know, we leave it there. Um, gives it a nice cushion area to stand when you're when you're in there getting a shower. And it's also gonna keep uh, the bottom of the shower from getting all scuffed up with the washer and spin dryer sitting in it. So as David mentioned, this washer machine only weighs about 28 pounds, and it's very easy to pick up and move when you're ready. Put it in the washer. It has little spots on the side that you can hold it. 
simply set it down whichever direction and we have to have it positioned to where it will reach the plug. So this is a little bit of a larger capacity than our previous one. So on our old washer, you could usually wash about 10 pieces of clothing. So this one is probably about 15 to 20, depending on how bulky they are. And you can even wash jeans. But of course, if you're washing jeans, you can probably only wash two to three pairs at a time. All right, now we're gonna show you how this thing works and we are very impressed. It spins a lot better than our other one did. Okay, so we've got about 15 pieces of clothing in here, a combination of shorts, shirts, and undergarments. And now we're gonna fill it up with water and add a little bit of laundry soap. You don't want too much or it's gonna have way too many bubbles. And then when you do your rinse cycle, it won't rinse well. So you just wanna make sure you don't use too much soap. So we just use a very small amount of soap. Doesn't take much at all. All right, so then we're just gonna let the water fill up till it covers the clothes. And up here you have your dials. The first one is for how long you want to wash it. Anywhere between three and 15 minutes. And then when it's done, you just switch this knob over to drain. If you have any delicate laundry that you want to wash, you can always pick the soft setting instead of normal. And then this is for the spin dry timer. Okay, we've got our water in and as you can see, it's pretty full, but you don't want to fill it past. This is the filter that we're going to talk about in a few minutes, but you don't want to fill it past that. And once it starts washing, it is going to make the water come up a little bit. So you don't want to fill it too full. So we're gonna show you how it looks while it's spinning. So this model of washer actually seems to have more spin power behind it than our previous one. And you can just tell that it's washing the clothes really well. Um, usually when we're done, the water is dirty. So you definitely want to make sure you do a rinse cycle to get any dirty water or the soap out too. All right, so the wash cycle is done. So now it's time to drain and then do a rinse cycle on it. And you can see the water coming out right there. So after the water's done draining, all you have to do is turn this back to normal, fill it up and do a rinse cycle on it. And then we'll show you how the spin dryer works. Okay, so the rinse cycle is done. It's time to drain it and put them in the spin dryer. If you're doing a full load of laundry, you'll most likely need to split it into two loads to dry it, unless it's just a bunch of small clothing. And it comes with this insert that you put on top of the clothes after you put it in. It kind of helps keep it level. So when it's spinning, it doesn't shake the unit too much. Okay, now that we've got the clothes in there, you just take this and push it down on top of the clothes, close the lid, and set your timer for five minutes. And if you open, it will stop the spin. So you have to keep this part closed while it's spinning. Now, as you can see, it's spinning the water out down here that was left over in the clothes. And it's very, very quiet, not loud at all. So the spin dryer is done and this thing does a really good job at getting all the water out of it. So when you hang them up to finish drying, you don't have to worry about any water dripping or anything like that. So let's show you. So you probably won't be able to see in the video, but there's, there's no water dripping. They're pretty dry. And if you just simply hang them up, they'll be completely dry within a few hours. So what we actually installed in here to hang the clothes on to dry, um, if you watch our first video we did on our old washer, you'll see we had a shower curtain rod hanging up there. Well, since then, we actually 
put in a retractable uh, a retractable clothesline, which has worked out fantastic. Um, you do have to be careful if you're going to use the retractable clothesline. Make sure that you screw it into um, one of your you know one of your metal uh, metal studs inside the wall because that can get pretty heavy um, once you start putting a lot of clothes on it and it can start to kind of pull out of the wall a little bit. We've had to reposition it a couple times, um, but uh, we've got it we've got it in there pretty good now and uh, we haven't really had any issues. The only issue we had was when I didn't have it into an actual metal uh, metal beam before. Here's what that looks like. So, you know, we've got it hooked um, just above, just above the door on this side. And uh, there's a wood, uh, like a wood header that goes above the door here. So that's really solid in there. And then we go to the other side and uh, that's where we have it mounted over there. So another thing that uh, this washer and spin dryer has that our other one did not have is it has a filter inside the wash tub. So this is a filter. Um, this is in here. The instructions are not really super clear what the purpose or the intention of this filter is, but after using it, um, you just basically unclip it from the top, which you just push down and it'll pull right out. And you can see that I believe it's just to keep, to kind of catch any, um, any lint or anything like that that might come off of might come off of uh, your clothes while they're washing just to try to keep this from uh, it's going to keep this from going out your drain and clogging up your drain um, and keep this from you know staying in the in the tub and uh, getting back on your clothes so once you have it out um, it unclips off the back and then you can just kind of turn this thing inside out and then you can get all that lint and everything um, off the inside of the filter so now once you've got it all cleaned out, you can just push it back through, turn it back right side out. And uh, it's a nice feature and it definitely does the job of catching, you know, anything that's getting sloshed around inside the tub. So uh, I really like having that on there. It, it is one more extra step that our other one didn't have, but it's a, it's a nice, a nice feature and it's going to keep all that crud from getting clogged up down in your drain and, and uh, getting all over your clothes while they're washing. So then to reinsert it, you just put the bottom back in, clip the top back in, and you're good to go. That's it. So real quick, another thing that makes um, using this type of washer and spin dryer setup nice is our adjustable shower curtain rod. Um, we talked about that. We have a video uh, showing how we installed this, but you can see how much space it really gives you down here to really work. Um, you can push the shower curtain all the way back out of the way. It's completely out of your way. You're not trying to work through the opening in your little shower doors. So that has been an awesome upgrade uh, that really gives you a lot more working space in a very, very small area. This one is, I think, gonna be a lot more efficient. The other one worked great. Two years we got out of that thing, using it multiple times a week. Uh, family of three, full time for two years and it, it really held up well and uh, we really can't complain about it we we're very happy with it and this unit a little more expensive it was a hundred it was 190 dollars but we feel that it's definitely worth that price yeah i mean if we get if we get one year out of this thing for 190 bucks uh, we're going to be happy uh, the fact that our other one went two years we knew that uh, we were kind of on borrowed time with that one so it wasn't a shock when it kind of didn't function as good as it did when it was new and started having problems. Um, can't even be mad about it. Gladly spend $190 on this one. I'll leave a link to this unit um, in the description. We picked this one up on Amazon. They shipped it to us in a couple of days. Uh, it is, it's awesome. It's lightweight. So if you're living in a fifth wheel or you're looking at fifth wheels and you're not sure um, if, you're, if it's going to work because you don't have a washer dryer set up and you're planning on going full time or even just on extended vacations, whether that's a fifth wheel, a travel trailer, wherever you're, you're going to live, um, that you don't have washer and dryer hookups, it's not a problem. You can use this unit. It's going to work fantastic. You can put up a clothesline, hang your clothes up. Within a few hours, they're all dry. Um, it's, it's worked out extremely well for us and far better than having to worry about going to a laundromat all the time. Right, that's what I was gonna say. We we don't prefer to spend our extra time in a laundromat. We can do this any time of the day or the night, and it takes a little bit of time, it's a few more steps, but it's definitely worth it. 
All right, that's gonna wrap it up from our bathroom slash laundry room. We appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you guys down the road.